Today I'm on a quest, I'm on a hunt. While I'm really scared, it's something I really need to do because if you're gonna live in Brisbane, this is something you need to know about. This is a part of the Australian experience. Every spring, we have to deal with crazy angry birds, particularly magpies. And today I'm actually going to put myself out there to take the blows and get attacked by a magpie so that you can actually experience what it's like to be swooped by a magpie without having to risk any injuries. I've consulted the Magpie Alert website and I'm going to go to some areas where there have been reported angry magpies looking for blood and I'm gonna put myself out there with a 360 degree camera and try to get myself swooped. It's madness, but it's just gotta be done. So I'm gonna see you at the first spot. I think I kinda of don't know what I'm getting myself in for here. I just hope there's no blood. But blood would make for a more dramatic video. Hmm. You have reached your destination on the right. So here I am at the first location where there is a reported swooping magpie. And the good thing about this one is it was reported to have swooped somebody walking uh, because it turns out on the website that it's, it may be hard for me to actually get swooped today because the majority of victims are cyclists and I don't have a bike that I can use. So I'm going to be walking. Actually, I'll be running because uh, it turns out that runners are more likely to be swooped by magpies than walkers. Now this spot is actually particularly significant. So this is Glinderman Park in Holland Park West on the south side of Brisbane. And this is actually the location where just last year there was a magpie related fatality. There was a mother carrying her five month old baby through the park and a magpie swooped her and she tripped when she was trying to get away from the magpie and unfortunately the little baby died as a result. That magpie was taken away to a different location but there is a report of another swooping magpie in this park just this year as well. So I'm going to see how I go if uh, I can draw its attention today. Alright, this looks like the location. I can already see the magpie swooping alert. Before I go in though, I've got to get the 360 degree camera. This is an Insta360 ONE X2. I've got to get it ready by putting on these protective lens covers because I really don't want to risk these lenses getting attacked by a psychotic magpie. But if I'm going to protect my lenses, then I'm going to protect myself as well. So I actually invested in a hard hat. Uh, not so much for the protection because it is going to hit the back of my neck or my ear if that's what it decides to go for. It's not going to protect me all that much. But if the, a magpie does make contact, at least it'll make a cool sound and that'll just make it a little bit more dramatic. Uh, so we'll see how we go. I've got to get the magpie to notice me and actually swoop though. So. We'll see what happens. I just saw a couple of kids go by on bicycles and uh, I saw no swooping happening. So, eh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right, so here I am. You can see the swooping bird warning right here. I've switched to the 360 camera and I'm hoping for the best. I gotta say, I feel like an absolute idiot with this hard hat walking through the park. But uh, hey, if I get swooped, it'll be worth it. The reason these magpies swoop is they're trying to protect their nest. So it's during nesting season that people tend to get swooped. But I'm not really seeing any sign of one here at the moment. Maybe I'm walking too slowly. Maybe I need to run. See how I go. If I get no attacks by the end of this path, I'll, uh, I'll run back. No, the signs just seem to be in this little short stretch, so... Protect your eyes, head and face. Walk, don't run, or ride your bike. Avoid this area if possible. Okay, so I think running is the way to go. Here we go. Nope. Oh 
Samoa. Location one, zero. Uh, I guess I need to go somewhere where there's a magpie with a reputation for being a bit more aggressive. So that is going to take me up to the north side. There's a magpie with a particularly nasty reputation up in Capera. So I'll give that one a go. Helps if you unlock the car. So I'm on the motorway now on the way to the north side suburb of Capera. Uh, if you're a fan of the cartoon series Bluey, then you may be interested to know that the Bunnings hardware store in Capera is the one that Hammerbarn in that Bluey episode was modelled on. But Capera is not only home of Hammerbarn, but also apparently perhaps Brisbane's most vicious magpie. Uh, when I asked on Reddit, a lot of people said that one, that's the one to watch. So. Uh, We'll see how I go, see if I can make myself a target up in that one. Um, but you know, it's not just magpies that do the swooping. Uh, also noisy miners, plovers, butcher birds even. One of the YouTube channels that I follow, Brisbane Wildlife, was recently swooped by a butcher bird when he was riding his bike. So it's not just the magpies you've got to watch out for here in Brisbane or in Australia. I wish I could turn the camera around so you could see the city as I go by. Love this drive. Oh, seriously? Gotta say, I'm, I'm beginning to feel a little bit nervous about this one. Hopeful but nervous. It's kind of a weird feeling, a mixture of excitement, expectation, anticipation, and fear, uh, terror even. All right, here we are. I'm on Madsen Street, and this is the location for apparently the meanest magpie in Brisbane, perhaps. And I'm actually looking out on the power lines, and I see a magpie sitting right there. So, I'm not sure if that's him, but I think I might just put the, uh, the hard hat on before I even get out of the car, just to be safe. You know, I'm so conflicted. I want him to attack, but I don't want to get hurt. But God, it's going to make for some good YouTube if, uh, if he does, especially if he comes back for more and more. So, uh, trying to get swooped by the magpie. <laughs> what are you videoing? Around, yeah, videoing it. Oh, right. But, uh, I thought it was a bloody gun or a rifle or something. <laughs> yeah, so it's got a lens on the front there and a lens on the other side. Is it, is it and got then it just links it all up. Yeah. Shivers. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Hope you have a good one. Yeah. Uh, a bad one would be a good one today. <laughs> Oh. oh wow, that actually looks like a baby magpie. I wonder if uh, it lost its baby, so it has no interest in swooping anymore, I don't know. Oh well, I tried. Well, that was pretty disappointing. I do think 
that the one sitting up there on the power pole is the one because this is pretty much the location that people have been reporting as being swooped in this area. And everybody said he's a meanie, but he's not interested in people who are walking or even jogging. I do have one idea, however, for another spot. So uh, fingers crossed because I don't want to be driving all over Brisbane and not get a, not get a swoop. This is crazy. It's magpie season. They're meant to be terrorizing Brisbane residents. It is true that it's only the males that swoop and it is only roughly 10% of males that actually do swoop. But this is meant to be one of them. So not happy, not happy. All right, so it's day two in my hunt for the angry magpies and I had to come into the city to donate blood but I thought while I'm in here, I actually have an idea about where there is magpies that uh, have been reported as being quite aggressive a number of times. And uh, I'm looking across here because it's just over there at Kangaroo Point, opposite the Botanic Gardens I'm walking through now. And uh, my thoughts is that what I can do is actually hire uh, a beam electric bike and ride through because they tend to attack cyclists more. So I have a much higher chance of actually getting swooped if I'm on a bike as opposed to walking. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head across, try and find an, uh, one of the bikes for hire along the way. And then I'm going to ride through that area where there's been a number of attacks. So I found one of the beam bikes conveniently right across from the Goodwill Bridge, which will take me across to the other side of the river where I need to be. That's the sound. I think that must have been the area because I could hear a magpie call, but no soup. Let me pass through it again, try and uh, become a target. And hopefully it doesn't knock the camera off the helmet. <laughs> That's, oh, it won't need to because it fell off by itself. Day three was an absolute disaster. My audio recorder broke and I had no idea that it had happened until the end of the day. So the only audio I have is that from my 360 degree camera. So I apologize now for the audio quality, but you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this little bit. All right, so it's day three now on my mad quest to get attacked by a magpie. This is turning out to be not nearly as easy as I thought it would be. I thought that they'd just be happy to swoop. I guess what I didn't factor into the equation is that they don't actually swoop everybody. They pick and choose their targets and we don't really know what they're picking their targets based on, but so far I have not been an attractive target to the magpies. So fingers crossed today. Today I'm heading to a spot in Salisbury where there's been numerous reports of people being attacked while walking their dogs. So this is a magpie that doesn't have a thing for cyclists. It actually has a thing for people walking. So maybe today's the day. I'm really hoping it is because I just don't want to be working on this video forever, but I must get a magpie swoop. I will continue until I do.
Please let today be the day. Oh, there we go. Put your bird. <laughs> Not even a magpie. But there was contact right here. Oh, Lincoln, you miss it though. Glad I kept uh, recording. Was it recording? Yes. <laughs> well, there you go. The sign said magpie, but that was a butcher bird. This sign just says swooping bird. Okay, well, I'll check out the footage, but that was pretty unspectacular. A single, a single swoop and a bit of a clip above the ear. But uh, certainly not the drama I'm after. I think I'm going to keep trying, but at least I got a slip. That's that's a move in the right direction. All right, into the car. Helps if you unlock it. <laughs>